Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to find lcm using gcd so guys previously we have seen a program in order to find the lcm which was using the while loop which is slower to run so if i show you the program as you can see we were having the two numbers that is 12 and 14 and over here in the compute lcm function what we were doing is we were finding the greatest number out of these two numbers that is x and y so once we find the greater number we divide that number by both the numbers that is x and y in such a way that the remainders must be zero and if it is not zero we need to increment the value of greater number by one so guys over here the greater number was 14 so both the numbers that is 12 and 14 were divided by this greater number so the remainders were not zero since 14 divided by 12 will not give us the remainder as zero so next time the greater number will be incremented by one and this time it will be 15 so we have to increment the number one at a time which will be little bit time consuming as far as finding the lcm is concerned so basically finally if we see the lcm of these two numbers that is 12 and 14 is 84 so approximately 70 times the control flow came into this while loop and again and again the greater number was incremented by one so this is little bit time consuming so do we have the efficient way in order to find the lcm yes we can make it more efficient by using the fact that the product of two numbers is equal to the product of the least common multiple and the gcd that is greatest common divisor of these two numbers so basically what we are saying is the number one multiplied by number 2 it will be equal to LCM multiplied by GCD in this case so when we take this GCD on the other side so we will get LCM that is on the left hand side over here it will be equal to number 1 multiplied by number 2 divided by GCD in this case so guys we can easily find the LCM of two numbers by finding the result of this expression for which we need to find GCD as well which we have already found using the Euclidean algorithm previously so guys let us implement this this method in order to find the LCM of the two given numbers so I'll just remove these lines of code over here and we will have this compute LCM method over here now guys we need to define another method that is compute HCF so over here we have the DEF keyword followed by compute HCF and this will again take the two variables that is x comma y over here and then what we have to do is we have to loop through the value of y until the value of y is zero so over here we say while y in this case so the control flow will always go inside this while loop until the y value is not equal to zero once it is equal to zero it will come out of this while loop and then we have to have this expression that is x comma y it is equal to we have to assign the value of y to x first over here so y value will be assigned to x over here followed by a comma and then this variable that is y will get the value of x percent y which is the remainder by dividing both the numbers that is x and y so guys over here we have the expression that is x percent y in this case so basically we are getting the remainder of dividing the two numbers that is x and y and assigning this value to the variable y and we are assigning the value of y to x and finally when the y value is zero we will find our hcf in this variable that is x and this is how the euclidean algorithm works which we have already seen in one of the previous program guys you can find the link to that program in the description section as well now guys what we have to do is after coming out of this while loop we have to return the value of x which is the hcf of these two numbers now guys once we find this hcf we need to implement this expression that is number one multiplied by number two and then divided by gcd so over here what we will simply do is we will have the expression that is x multiplied by y and then we have the division operator guys we have the two forward slashes so that we divide the two integers over here and then what we have to do is we need to call the compute hcf which will give us the gcd that is the greatest common divisor of these two numbers we have to pass the two numbers as x and y so guys this particular expression will give us the LCM and what we can do is simply we can return this expression so basically this expression will give us the LCM and that is what we are returning to this method that is compute LCM over here so guys the LCM of 12 and 14 it is expected to be 84 so let us verify that I'll just save this file now and try running this code so as we can see LCM of two numbers 12 and 14 it is equal to 84 now guys how did we find this value as 84 over here let us check it so basically the number 1 and number 2 that is x and y were 12 and 14 so we'll just provide x and y value as 12 and 14 over here so guys what happened is 
this 14 value of y was assigned to this x value while computing the hcf so now x it became 14 and then the value of y it was equal to x percent y which means 12 percent 14 which is equal to 12 in this case since quotient will be 0 and remainder will be 12 in this case so we have y it is equal to 12 so next time what happened is the value of x it will be equal to this 12 because the value of y will be assigned to the variable of x so we have 12 over here and then y it will be equal to 14 percent 12 in which case the value of y will be 2 now because 14 divided by 12 the quotient will be 1 and remainder will be 2 so over here y will be equal to 2 in this case now guys this value of 2 will be assigned to x next time so basically x it is equal to 2 and then y it is equal to x percent y which is 12 percent 2 in which case the y value will become 0 over here so basically the hcf value will be 2 now so in this expression that is in order to find the lcm we have found the gcd as 2 so number 1 multiplied by number 2 let us use the calculator over here we take number 1 as 12 multiplied by number 2 which is equal to 14 and then we get it as 168 and then we divide this number by gcd which is 2 right now so when we divide this number by 2 as we can see we get 84 as the result and that is what we have found as the lcm of these two numbers that is lcm of two numbers 12 and 14 is 84 now guys let's say the number one and number two is 100 and 200 over here so we say 100 and 200 so what will be the lcm so it will be 200 this time because 100 multiplied by 2 is 200 and 200 multiplied by 1 is 200 again so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as we can see lcm of two numbers 100 and 200 is 200 over here so guys please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to find the factors of a number so stay tuned